I'm Carol Schweikart, the Executive Director for Theater Space Project, which is a nonprofit organization. And we, at this time, manage the Lowry Lab Theater. Theater Space Project is a nonprofit organization founded in the year 2000 to create performance spaces uh, and then rent them affordably to small theater companies in the Twin Cities that don't have a permanent home and need a place to do their show. We have tried some larger uh, theater spaces and our audiences um, seem to prefer uh, the more intimate space. So they've really enjoyed um, the past season of shows here, having such a small space that's really close to the stage and really close to the performers. I started Theater Space Project one evening in the lobby of the theater garage when I thought to myself, how hard can this be <laughs> to run a good performance space and do it well, uh, manage it well, respond to phone calls, things like that. Um, it turned out to be very, very hard, um, but uh, at the time I was working with a small professional theater company that had to rent space, and we discovered at that time that there were some really crummy spaces that were small and affordable, or other spaces that were technically available but were huge and expensive and just not appropriate for the small or new theater companies. We rented our, we did our first show with Theater Space Project three years ago, it was... Um, 2007. Yeah, October 2007, we did a sketch comedy called Whistling Past the Graveyard. And um, since then we've done, this is, a, this is our fourth show, but we've also done a fundraiser here as well. The real problem is it's an idea. No one else has formed a nonprofit just to do what we have done. And it was really difficult to find uh, funding because people will fund you when you have a track record, but it's really hard to get a track record when you haven't done the thing that you want to do yet. Fortunately, in the beginning, the Star Grant, the City of St. Paul Star Grant, understood what we were trying to do and were willing to take a chance on us. We would not be here 10 years later if, if it weren't for the Star Grant. It's rare to find a place that, I mean, the people who run it are incredibly supportive and uh, quickly responsive. You know, yes, this is a nonprofit activity because we're building it with grants, we're building it with volunteer help, and then providing it at less than market rate. My son, even when he was in junior high, uh, he would round up his friends, and fortunately, they would be willing to work for hamburgers and <laughs> helped with hauling things from place to place. Like I said, what we do isn't all that sexy or exciting. Um, you know, we create a space so other people can do what they do, which is more sexy and exciting. Uh, theater Space Project offers um, some of the lowest rent on theater space that you can find in the Twin Cities. Um, and there are so many theaters that, uh, theater companies, that we all need. Uh, we all need homes and we, <laughs> we all need places to rent. It's hard to find funding because we're not the direct producer of the art. We don't produce. Most theater spaces around town are owned by a producer. Uh, Gremlin Theater Company owns the Gremlin Theater. The Guthrie owns the Guthrie. And in this economy right now, a lot of funders are focusing on uh, essential daily needs like food and housing. So they've cut back on arts funding. Well, I worked for no pay for a really long time, and then even when I started getting a salary, uh, because funding is so tight and really we're not getting enough funding in, I end up being a volunteer at some point in the year. Our first theater was the 4th Street Theater down on 4th and Minnesota in the Kellogg Square building, and we were doing well there. Uh, the place was booked almost immediately, and people liked it a lot. It was the price was great, it was very bare bones, but we actually had enough wall space to have art shows in there also, which was really, really fun. Um, then the landlord, on at the end of year three, decided he wanted his space back because he was gonna combine it with the space next to us and rent it to some really big, fancy restaurant. So he tripled the rent, at, which made it very clear that he wanted his space back. So we said, okay, but we need a 30-day out clause. We started looking around for another space to move to as quickly as possible. 
within 24 hours, I had three phone calls and from various people with various spaces, and in one short morning, I had seen this space. The space itself is sort of this perfect black box, which is, you know, it's like a, a blank canvas. We can do whatever we want to it, which is wonderful. The future for Theater Space Project, theoretically, we could own more than one space. We could own a slightly larger space. We could manage someone else's space for them, like during their downtime, they wouldn't have to hassle with that. We could, we could maybe be managing more places. We would like to be the go-to organization for if you've got questions about how to build a theater in this area or anywhere else. Uh, what do you need to look for? How do you get started? Uh, we would like to be um, a point, uh, the, well, the, the go-to organization for that kind of information. I love looking at spaces and assessing spaces for their viability, their appropriateness to be a theater, and then managing the construction and you know working with the architect and getting the designs drawn. And that, that whole process, I think, is really a lot of fun.